Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, my name is Samantha and I go by Thrifty on a Dime on all social media platforms. I talk about different ways to make money part-time or full-time, whatever you're kind of looking for. And I do it online as well as in person. So be sure if you are new and that sounds interesting, you hit that little bell icon and subscribe. And if you're already here, been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate all of you and I would love to say hi in the chat below. Let's connect. So today's video is exciting. Um, I have been implementing something that I knew I should be for a really long time and it's been really making my reselling business much more productive, especially because I do still work full time as a nurse and I have two kids. So it's crazy around here and sorry about that. Somebody was knocking, but yeah, I have been trying to really implement setting up my day the night before. So what I mean is for example, instead of just sitting and watching TV and enjoying, you know, my free time and just watching TV, I like to either sit down there and think about things I need to get done the next day and have them wrote out so that I don't go the next day and like, hey, I know I need to do this, but what do I start with first? No, I don't even have to think about it because I've already pre-planned my day. And I was doing that a while back. And when I do that, I just feel so much better, less anxiety, just because I don't have to actually sit there. I can just go through the motions in the morning. And that actually helps a ton because taking care of my girls, it is time consuming. And that way I don't have to think too much into it. I also have been planning, am I taking pictures the next day? Am I going to the inventory unit? What am I doing? If I'm taking pictures, I want to make sure everything is ready. I want to make sure it's steamed, lint rolled, in the order I want to take it, pictures of it, etc. Also having my um, picture area prepped, cleaned, ready to go, lights ready, all that good jazz, so that when it's time, I'm not going to have to sit there and find everything which in turn is gonna give me less time to do the task at hand. So I just kind of set up everything um, to get it ready. I also, since today my daughter was going to the babysitter, well, my youngest was going to the babysitter, I had to prep the night before with everything, you know, her um, pop-up crib, diapers, all that good jazz. I had to get everything ready and so that it can just be taken directly out to the car. Um, I also was labeling items last night that I take to a consignment shop. So I was pricing items while I was watching TV so that whenever I woke up, I could just drop my daughter off the babysitters, go by the consignment shop before they open, you know, put everything out and then hit the road, which saves a ton of time again, because I don't have to wake up in the morning and go, okay, what items do I want to take there today? How much do I want to price them? And that's going to save me just a little bit of time. So yes, that is more work the night before, but if you kind of think of it as only one day, it's more work. But if you keep on it, it's not gonna be more work. So only one day you're gonna be playing catch up, doing a little bit extra work than the night before. So the next days, as long as you stay consistent with planning your night before, you're not gonna have to add that extra work to the next day. Um, and in doing this, what you're doing is you already have in mind, hey, I just have to get up and go. I just have to literally go through the motions. And in doing this, I was able to finish half of my to-do list before 11 a.m. Holy cow, I am ecstatic. So even though I was able to finish everything, I still needed a small power nap because let's be honest, you need to recharge just a little bit. And considering I'm gonna be going the rest of the day, probably until about nine, 10 o'clock at night, I definitely needed that little refresher in between. Okay, so what else am I doing? I'm also making sure to clean little things the night before that I was cleaning in the morning and doing it the night before instead of the morning so that it would save me a little bit of energy in the morning that I'm not gonna have to do. Um, and thus in turn, I can focus on my list and my business list and my work list versus focusing on, hey, this has to be done before I can do anything. So cleaning is one thing I am definitely uh, prepping the night before as well too. So I know a lot of you are probably like, I can't do that. Uh, I'm not a morning person. Uh, I'm not a night owl. Uh, I'm not this, I'm not that. I'm not either. I am a very like, 
organized, disorganized person. I'm a very go with the flow. I mean, it's not messy per se, but I have dis uh, I have organized chaos. We'll just say that. So I'm not somebody who needs everything perfect and you know completely organized, but. When I start doing this and actually forcing myself to start this routine, it's been helping me mentally. My anxiety levels have went from here down to here because I am not so stressed and thinking so many thoughts. I've, I've really alleviated some of that stress by prepping the night before. So again, yes, you may say this isn't you, you know, I can't do this. I am living proof that you can do it. I, again, I'm a very go with the flow person. I don't like schedules. I don't like feeling confined to a routine, but implementing the proper routine is actually going to alleviate the stress and make you feel better and be more productive. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. And all you have to do is keep doing it every day until it becomes a habit, a good habit because you can create a good habit by forcing yourself through the motions every single day and the elasticity and your the neurons in your brain I forget what it is the technical term is going to get stronger and stronger and basically you're just going to wake up and already know what to do you're not going to have to think about it so again guys this was a short simple video but I will be having more content to come so if you have any questions, if you want me to put out any certain videos on any of my processes, please comment down below. Hit that little bell icon and until next time, thank you all for watching.